In the last two years, AI has teleported into our lives in many ways. You can now have it make your own art, do your homework for you, or even code video games. Having a lot of people excited and concerned of what the future of this technology may bring. AI though is one of those new technologies that isn't just good on your day to day basis but can also be brought into the gaming genre to potentially improve upon the development process of video games. If you tuned into the latest developers livestream, you may have noticed that Ashes of Creation surprised us with some voiceover when it comes to their questing dialogue. Thank the gods you've arrived safely. Orientation upon arrival to the world of Vera is natural. You're feeling the flow of- This voiceover is done by recreating intrepid developers' voices and applying them to quest givers with artificial intelligence. Like all things in Alpha 2, it is a work in progress though and Intrepid plans to continue to tweak and alter these voice tracks so they sound realistic to players when these NPCs are being interacted with. With all things AI and technology, people obviously have some concerns with this. Why not pay voice actors? People make points to state that AI takes jobs away from people, which isn't exactly wrong. Have you ever been to a Walmart or a local grocery store? It seems that more self-checkouts are being added every day to replace cash years, saving labor costs as you need to hire less associates and provide less benefits due to the lower number of humans employed. Artists are losing out to apps like Mid Journey and Dolly where you can now create exactly what you have visioned in seconds with a simple prompt when it comes to art. Anything from concept art to logos can be made by this technology. But this implementation of AI should not really be a surprise to most who have been following Ashes of Creation closely. Steven has stated in the past that the use of AI may happen if they find it beneficial to Ashes of Creation's development. And personally, I feel this is the one place that Intrepid should use AI. First off, AI isn't exactly taking anyone's jobs away in this situation. Intrepid wasn't planning on having all of their quest givers have voiceovers originally. So if anything, this adds some flavor to the world of Vera. Sure, some voice acting may have happened if it was an important storyline happening or a specific event, but those would have more than likely been voiced by a already hired Intrepid employee and not a paid voice actor. which is still the case of what's happening. As I already said, what you are hearing is the actual developer's voice being cloned by AI. Every voice you are hearing is someone already paid by Intrepid. Second off, MMORPGs are massive worlds filled with thousands upon thousands of NPCs at any given point and having a number of people record their voices and implement them into the game would add a ton to the development scope and probably push Ashes of Creation's development back even further. Intrepid not partaking in voiceovers in general was saving them on time on an MMO that a lot of people already feel has been in development for way too long. Using AI while it adds some time back into it to implement, it isn't nearly as long as you would need as hiring somebody, scheduling them to record the voice lines, then taking those voice lines, editing it down, and implementing it into the game. Now you can just create voice tracks on the fly, so scheduling is no longer going to hold up that process. And not only that, but these days, a game without a voiceover seems kinda odd. NPCs should have voices, it adds to the immersion of any type of game, especially an MMORPG. And while I don't mind reading quest text myself, a lot of people skip this part as they don't want to read a short story and end up missing out on very interesting parts of the lore because of it. Or even helpful clues that may help them on their quest. Voiceovers help bring more people into the story, even though you are still always going to have those people who are in a rush to complete things as fast as possible and skip all the quest text, story beats, cutscenes, everything like that, so they can hit that end game goal. My biggest complaint though is that AI voices just sound fake. They sound robotic no matter whose voice they are cloning. While they may not be as bad as they once were, the technology still has a ways to go and it's still pretty easy to distinguish AI voices from regular people. But as Interpret has stated, they are going to continue to adjust and tune these voices to hopefully get them right. I'm hoping Intrepid can get to the point where the difference between human voices and AI in Ashes of Creation is barely noticeable as to not break the immersion of this beautiful
beautiful world they are creating. At the end of the day though, I think implementation of AI in this manner is the right move by Intrepid. The pros in my opinion really outweigh the cons, especially when we weren't going to get full voiceovers to begin with, and when you have a 1200 square kilometer map with 85 nodes, numerous story arcs, quests, and world events that pop up, you want it all to feel alive and semi-realistic to lose yourself in, and giving a large variety of voices to even the smallest quest lines is going to help with that. The use of AI with questing will really help bring the world of Vera to life in a way that would not be possible without it.